Tifu by having sex with my wife a couple months after my daughter was born. So, this happened last week and I am still in the healing process, apparently my wife is too. Let's get the sappy stuff out of the way first. So, my wife went into labor three months ago today and gave birth to our little happy baby girl. Honestly the best day and thing to happen in my life. I was always worried about having kids because of being a child of divorce. I never wanted to be distant from my child like my dad was to my sister and I. Now that I have a daughter, my whole outlook on life is different. Now, the fuck up. My wife and I have a very healthy sex life, and we were both counting down the days to have sex, and for those that don't know, you are supposed to wait 6 weeks after the birth to have intercourse, so after weeks of oral greatness, we finally were able to do the deed. Unfortunately, she wasn't healed enough so go for it, so this meant waiting a little longer. We patiently waited until it became more comfortable for her to make it happen. The wait was annoying, but hey, if she feels good the experience is that much better. A little while longer, we try again. We get into it, and she is good to go. Wahoo! Things are going great, slow and steady was my mindset. Everything was going great, then. Something went wrong. Did something just bite me? Question mark? WTF was that. What felt like a bee sting found itself at the head of my D. I didn't want to freak my wife out, so I fought through the pain. Mistake? She finished, I decided to stop. I continued to feel a tearing at the head of Dick. I felt around, and looked, blood covered my fingertip. I worked up the courage to explain to my wife it was not that pleasurable on my end. We thought maybe the pregnancy had caused some areas to not moisturize itself properly and we should use lube. Nope. Same feeling, but now we get worried. We do some exploring. I reach and feel something sharp, something sharp and hard which freaks us both out. My wife reaches and realizes that one of the stitches that was supposed to dissolve never did. I had been hitting a very strong and sharp stitch that was meant to be gone by now. Now I am left with a cut on the most sensitive part of my body and some scabbing that will hopefully heal correctly and my wife freaking out that something is wrong with the stitch. Ob appointment has been scheduled and hopefully we will be able to get back to business soon. TLDR, wife's post-birth stitches didn't dissolve like they were supposed to, found out by getting freaky and cutting my dickhead. Edit, holy shit was not expecting this to blow up. I haven't been by my phone or computer since midday yesterday, going to through the comments now. Thank you random stranger for the gold. Edit 2, as for those that are asking about my wife's ob appointment, she goes in Monday which was the earliest they could see her. Thank you all for the concern. Also, to all those that I game phantom dick pains to through the post, I apologize, D. While this is an unfortunate situation for you of course, the bright side is that you might have avoid a serious situation where your wife had an infection and had to go to the hospital because you discovered the stitches still in there. Now her doctor can check everything out and make sure she's still healthy. Hope your D heals quickly. I had a girl cut my head with a tongue ring during a blow job. I feel your pain, ouch. That does not sound like a fun blowy. I was kind of hoping this was going to be a butterfly knife story. Anyways, hope your penis heals quickly. Get well, penis. Get well, penis. Up Park, 2019. Those stitches are so fucking painful. I had a few dislodged after my first kid and the stabbing feeling was insane. Yes, same. When I sat down it was like someone stabbed my varg with a needle. Friend in work told me his first BJ story. He was in high school and invited a girl over to study. They has a shot of vodka from the parental liquor cabinet and things got touchy freely. She told him she didn't want to have sex but would blow him. After pondering for a nanosecond he dropped Troy and pulled out his weapon of choice. She immediately grabbed and went to work. This is where things all go wrong, the parental units came back early, because they were on the other side of the house they never heard the parents until the door was flung open and mom got a view of her son with his junk in a girl's slobbery mouth. The poor girl was shocked and jumped back, however the wire on her braces caught his skin and ripped his dick from base to tip. 
The girl got a very unhappy ending, my friend got 20, small, stitches and the parents got a story for life. Bro? They were big stitches. Huge stitches. Tifu by marrying my high school sweetheart. Tifu. 10 years ago I fucked up. By marrying my high school sweetheart. Throw away because. It should be evident. Strap in. This is going to suck for you and me both, but I gotta do it. For me. Typical story, boy meets girl, boy and girl stay together for years, boy and girl get married and have kids. In comes the wrench. Seven years ago, my wife decides to become a complete religious nutcase. All sex is bad and it's only slightly less bad if it results in procreation. Basically a complete halt to our sexual relationship. Nada. Nothing. No warning, just one day she comes home and says we're not having sex anymore and she stops taking birth control. At this point, I start looking at annulment options and divorce. Alas, I missed my escape window. Two months later, she tells me she's pregnant. I can't leave now. There's a kid. Kid is amazing and I love the kid very much. Could never leave that kid. The next two years, wife pulls progressively further and further away. Almost no physical contact at this point, outside of sex one time per month. And sometimes not even that. No kissing, no hugging, nothing. I get no emotion and no affection from her at all. But I can't leave? Not for the kid. Then bam. Pregnant again. We both come from fertile families, so it's not unexpected that one fuck up ends up with a kid. Second kid comes and that kid is absolutely wonderful and I love both kids more than anything in the world. Well shit, definitely can't leave now. The last five years have been absolute hell for me. I've changed jobs and we have absolutely no financial stress whatsoever, but my wife just will not touch me. She barely talks to me, other than to complain or ask me for something. She still wants sex once per month, but outside of that, there's just nothing. There's nothing romantic about it at all. She checks her calendar, checks her temperature, and says it's that time, go. Inevitably, I always feel worse after. I can't have sex on a schedule. I've tried to spice things up. We went on a tropical trip for our 10 year anniversary. No sex. In fact, I ended up having to jack off in the bathroom while my wife sat naked on the bed ignoring me. I suggested we go to marriage counseling. We went, but not in good faith. My wife had no intention of making changes. I started going to church with her in hopes that some good faith compromise might be possible. Nothing. No effect. So here I am, 10 years and 2 kids into a marriage with a woman that refuses to touch me, refuses to talk to me, refuses to listen, takes no interest in anything I have interest in, and won't do a damn thing to make things better. And somehow, when I try to talk to her about it, she gets offended and acts like she's the injured party. So, that's my fuck up. 10 years in the making. Fuck me, right. TL, doctor, married high school sweetheart, she turned into a frigid bitch, now I'm stuck in a loveless marriage with two kids I can't leave. Update, thanks for all the constructive, and unconstructive, criticism. I attempted to talk to her last night and re-engage and she just sat there and didn't say anything. I will try again tonight. To those who are criticizing me, yes I'm a selfish coward and terrified of not seeing my kids every day, no I'm not a 400 pounds incel, yes I realize I'm partly to blame for being so passive, no I'm not really looking for advice I just wanted to vent. To those who shared stories, thank you for offering me a perspective I haven't thought about. Stayed in a horrible marriage for 21 years, for the kids. When the marriage ended, both of my children were relieved. They both said that they wished we had divorced 10 years earlier. You can divorce her? The kids will notice how cold your relationship is when they start getting older, so staying together benefits no one, and leaves you unhappy and your children a warped perception of what a relationship is. Be happy. Stop fucking your wife, she's trying to get pregnant again. Also divorce her. You'd be surprised how young kids start to notice their parents fucked up relationships. Speaking from experience, staying will make them resent you. Dude I hate to be that guy. 
But if you're that unhappy you have to get a divorce. Seek custody of the kids even. A divorce does not mean you're leaving or dumping your kids. You seem like an excellent father I didn't have one growing up, who genuinely cares about their children, but fuck, you need to think about yourself sometime. Not even just thinking of himself, but thinking of the kids and how it's going to affect their perception what a relationship looks like later on in life. Dude, get a divorce. It doesn't mean leaving your kids by any means. I grew up in a religious family, and went to church as a kid and even I think your wife is a nut job. Then again my religious family talked about sex. Nothing was taboo. Sex was and is normal, and by no means sinful. Tifu by using toothpaste as lube. I was given inspiration to share my story after reading another other toothpaste Tifu. Many years ago when I was 15 or so I went through a period of sexual exploration, like most 15 year old boys. Being not that sexually experienced at the time I was curious what was most similar to a vagina that I could DIY, fleshite was too expensive. I googled how to make a DIY vagina, and learnt about making a prison fifi using socks and a toilet roll tube. I made it and found out after a few painful thrusts that you need to use lube. Not having any lube or hand lotion I scoured my parents' house with things to use. DIY lubes I tried. Shampoo. Conditioner. Someone else's shampoo. Shaving gel. I fucked my Fifi many many times, wedged in between the mattress, put into a pillow and at this point it had been fucked to death and I threw it in the bin but I persevered in my noble quest to find household lubes. A few days later I was in the shower and started jacking it caveman style with just my hand, using some shampoo as lube, but the thought occurred to me, tingle condoms are slightly minty. This is why I fucked up. I hastily put down the bottle of shampoo and picked up some toothpaste, and squirted a slug sized amount onto my battered dick. I started stroking my cock in excitement, it felt good, kind of minty. This particular time in the shower, I was without my phone, so I wasn't watching porn and it was taking longer than normal. I continued for a few more minutes and there was a creeping sensation of pain, like friction burn, so I thought it just means I need more toothpaste lube. Another toothpaste slug is excreted onto my abused cock and I continued to jerk it. I got closer and closer to finishing, but as I did the feeling of burning and pain also increased. I pumped my dick harder and faster to try and finish quicker. After what felt like a long battle of pain and edging I finally got there, but the pain remained. I washed everything off in the shower and continued on with my life, left with just a dull pain on my cock. I thought this is just because I've jerked my dick too much. The next day I woke up and the pain was still there, but more so. Now it wasn't just a dull pain but also a stinging type of pain. It hurt when I moved my legs. I sat down on my computer chair next to my PC and I tried to not move my legs. Later that day when I went to use the toilet, when I took down my trousers I saw some discoloration to my dick, I had a look and all the skin was red and raw, with some parts of the skin beginning to scab. Not good. The next day the scabbing was more widespread, all over my dick, and a little on the surrounding areas. The pain was really really bad, it was really hard to walk and keep a straight face. It's really hard to talk to my parents during normal conversation because all I can think about is the pain. I came very close to telling my super strict, super religious parents because I was worried I had done permanent damage, or maybe that there was still damage occurring and going to the doctors might help. I forget after how many days the pain reduced, but it did, and shortly after my mummified looking penis, because it was just a scab all over, started to emerge from its cocoon, and the scabs came off. My dick was left with new soft skin, and I've learned to never use toothpaste as lube again. TLDR. Used toothpaste as lube. Penis got chemical burns. Was worried I had to confess to family. Penis got better. Learned life lesson. Toothpaste is a mild abrasive, surprised the damage wasn't worse. When I said you can use toothpaste to polish your hubcap, this is not what I meant. God just buy Vaseline if they ask say it's for dry skin. Edit, I guess I fucked up by masturbating and having sex use Vaseline as lube, I never knew. I know right, this was many years ago, 
and I've learnt a lot in that time. Fortunately I'm not living at my parents anymore, embarrassed smiley face. This is a nice tutorial to skin my snake. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks. A kid at my high school got caught jerking his gherkin with toothpaste on school camp. People called him Colgate for like a month. I thought high school was supposed to be four years. Lo and behold, toothpaste fuck-ups. Sub will be exciting for the next couple of weeks. At least it isn't fucking coconuts.